you know, I had hope, but it was, it was pretty hopeless, if that makes any sense. As to count one, guilty of murder in the second degree. It just sucked the air right out of us. We were absolutely devastated. Where do you find inspiration to say, okay, I've got to pull myself out of this state of mind and make some changes? What was the inspiration? Before going to prison, I had such a good life. I had, you know, an amazing upbringing. Uh, my childhood couldn't have been better. And, and I had the most amazing family, the most support a person could have. I had 48 hours and Dateline out there who were actually putting the facts out to the public so the, the public could see the reality that I was innocent. Um, you know, I had hope. I believe that I was better than what had happened to me. Now, the, the title of my book came up, uh, Stronger, Faster, Stronger, because my father told me in the first week there, son, I can't do anything for you while you're in there in, in the context that, of me being there to help you. I can help you out here. Mm. So he said, you got to do everything you can to make yourself stronger, faster, and smarter. And so that's, that's exactly what I did. I had to get bigger if I wanted to survive. Ferguson is actually innocent. I think I saw Ryan. Oh my God, I, it's there. Oh my gosh, look at that. It cannot get better than that. <laughs> Today, for the first time in nearly a decade, Ryan Ferguson woke up a free man, having spent almost all of his 20s in prison for a crime he always maintained he did not commit. I'm ready for anything, really. I kind of want some Dairy Queen. 